bearing capacity. So, itong theory na ito ay makapaghanap sa atin ng ultimate bearing capacity of the soil. When the load is applied sa footing, the stress will be distributed at the bottom. Then, yung maximum intensity na mararamdaman ng footing natin bago mag-reach yung failure is the failure in shear is our ultimate bearing capacity. So, we're just limiting equilibrium approach lang. Meron tayong forces, causing, what is the uh, causing failure, which is our QU, the ultimate bearing capacity, and then yung magre-resist ng failure with shear strength. Pero in our case, dito lang tayo sa magkukos ng failure. So, natatandaan natin sa statics natin na ang summation force is equal 0 and summation moment equal 0 lang. The internal strength will, will support the upcoming load. Yun lang yun. So, ito yung formula na magagamit natin sa paghanap ng ultimate bearing capacity. Nakadepende ito sa kung ano yung internal frictional angle na meron tayo sa soil natin, na meron ng soil natin. This is for only for shallow foundation. Ang shallow foundation nga pala, ito yung depth ng footing na is 3 to 4 times sa width. Yung depth ng footing is 3 to 4 times ng width. Ito pa, para lang sa mga circular footing, square footing, and strip footing. Then, ito yung depende kung ano yung internal angle, internal frictional angle, may mga factors siya na nakatapat. Nandito na sa table. Uh, sa board exam, merong case na binibigay yung mga bearing factors. Pero din namang hindi. So, ayon sa mga investigator na nakapansin noon, noon na sabi nila na okay, na, tama naman daw yung binigay ni Terzaghi, pero yung internal frictional angle ay malapit sa 45 plus V over 2. So parang in-adjust lang nila. nag sila ng modification. Ito na yung local shear failure na tinatawag. So, based din sa given na internal frictional angle, meron din katapat na mga modified pairing factors. Depende yan kung sasabihin niya sa board exam kung ano yung gagamitin natin. So, kunwari, nakalimutan, na, 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 na lumating sa case na hindi na ibigay na examiner yung, ano, yung table, pwede natin makuha pa rin yung mga pairing factors gamit yung mga formula na to. Uh, pero tandaan natin na this is only for local shear failure. Local shear lang to ha. So, yan. Sige, try natin. Ay, di pa pala. Uh, for parameters, meron pa tayong Q old is the ultimate bearing capacity, or QU, is the unconfined compression strength, and the C is the cohesion of soil. Ito yung parameters na, ito yung binibigay sa atin ng mga soil investigator para makapag-design tayo. Natatandaan nyo na ang unconfined compression strength, ganito yung graph. So, paano ba kinukuha yung cohesion dyan? Di ba ang cohesion dyan is parang radius lang ng graph, which is, ang formula is parang QU over 2 lang. QU mo is yung diameter ng graph, ng circle na graph, divide po sa 2, yun ay radius, yun yung equation mo. So, ito yung formula. So, let's try. Problem 1. The figure shown is a square footing of 1.2 meters by 1.2 meter. The unit weight of the soil is 17.3 kN per cubic meter and a cohesion of 9.6 kPa. The angle of internal friction is 28 degrees. Assume no water table exists below the foundation. Determine the following letter A. Ultimate bearing capacity assuming general shear failure. Allowable bearing capacity using a factor of safety of 2.5 and the gross allowable load that the footing can carry. So, ito yung figure natin. Sabi, it is a 1.2 by 1.2 square footing and general, she general shear. Tandaan nyo, general shear. So, ano ba yung formula natin? 1 Q for square footing, it is 1.3 C and C plus Q and Q plus 0.4 gamma in B and gamma. Then, tingin tayo sa fa table. Ang sinabing internal frictional angle is 28 degrees. So, ito siya. Which is 31.61, 17.88, 13.7. Patali lang to para lang tayo nag hanap ng mga datas. Ayan. 
what is isa-isa natin C equation meron na tayo and C meron na tayo mga factors doon na tayo sa Q what is Q? Q is uh, effective stress at this point yun yung point na sa ilalim ng footing so ano bang effective stress dyan? Ano lang yan? Gamma H. So, 17.3 times distance na 1. So, 17.3 kilopascal lang yan. Then, for our gamma B, is just 17.3 times 1.2 lang. Gamma B. B is 1.2. So, 17.3 times 1.2 is 20.76 kilopascal. Pero, anong nangyari? What happened? Di ba during sa college days, meron tayong mga cases na effect of water table na sasabi. Merong mag case 1, case 2, case 3 na nakadepende kung ano yung gagamitin natin Q. Kung formula ng Q. Di ba mahirap? <laughs> Napakahirap naman sa uluhin na. Lalo na sa tayo mag-board exam. Mahirap yan. Then, what is gamma B ba? Ang gamma B is the effective stress at this point. B distance below the footing. That included yung effective stress sa top of the soil to the point of Q. Doon. So, hindi siya kasama. Doon lang ha. Tandaan. Ang gamma B is the effective stress at the B at a distance of B, which is yung base ng footing. Below the footing, that included the effective stress at the point of Q. So, yun. So, let's try. Pulit tayo sa tanong. Determine the ultimate bearing capacity. So, para plug and chug. Pag plug and chug. 1.3, ano yung C natin? 9.6 MC, 31.61. Plus, Q is 17.3 and Q. 17.81 plus 0.4. Gamma B is 30.76. And gamma is 30.7. So, our ultimate bearing capacity is 816.371 kilopascal. Next, letter B. Letter B is what is the allowable bearing capacity using a factor of safety of 2.5. Naalala nyo ba yung sa, ano, sa allowable stress design? Di ba sa allowable stress design is yung dinidivide natin sa factor of safety. Kung baga, binibigay natin sa kliyente na parang may allowance tayo na ganito kalaki. Ganito kalaki, ganito kalaki 2.5. So parang yung binigay sa atin na 100 pesos ng nanay mo, binigay sa'yo na 100 pesos ng nanay mo, tapos magsisave ka, hindi mo gagastos yung 100 pesos na yun kasi gusto mo magsave. Divide mo sa 2.5, yun yung factor of safety mo. So, 100 divided 2.5, maybe, uh, mahirap. <laughs> yun. So, yun yung factor of safety mo. Kung baga, may allowance ka for, there are room for, ano, abrupt change in load. So, Q, the formula is Q allow is Q alt over FS. So, yung Q alt mo is 816.371 divided by 2.5 is, our value is allowable is 326.548 kilopascal. Yan lang. Plug and chug. Next, what is the gross allowable load that the footing can carry? Allowable. So, meron ka ng Q allow based sa number letter B. So, Ano ba yung stress? Formula ng stress. Pinakapaborito nating formula niyan. Force over area. So, kung ang stress mo is allow, so, ang force mo is allow din. So, stress allow is equals to force allow over area. So, allowable force is or gross allowable load is P allow over area, which is P allow is cross multiply Q allow times area. So, 326.548 times what is the area of our footing? 1.2 by 1.2. So, plug and chug sa calculator. 470.23 km. Yan lang. Madali lang siya, di ba? Next. May question pa ba? Okay, next. Uh, equation 2. A square footing carries an allowable load of 59130 kg, including its own weight. If the bottom of the footing is 1.0 meter below the ground surface and the water table coincides with the bottom of the footing, assuming general shear failure, 
determine the following. Ayan, given na yung NC. NC is 25, NQ is 22, and DAM is 19. Letter A, effective surcharge at the bottom of the footing. Letter B, size of footing using a factor of safety of 3. And letter C, allowable pairing capacity. So, ito yung table. Table, ano natin? Figure. So, may water table yan. So, isusulat ko lang dito. Yan. So, what is the effective surcharge at the bottom of the footing? So, parang hinahanap lang dyan is, what is our Q? What is the effective stress at the bottom of the footing? So, gamma H lang yan. So, 1846 times 1, wala namang pour water pressure. So, 100. So, 1,846 kilograms per square meter. That is the answer. Letter B. What is the size of the footing using a factor of safety of 3? So, square footing pa rin siya. So, ang formula natin is 1.3 CNC plus QNQ plus 0.4 gamma B and gamma. So, maghahanap naman tayo ng size ng footing. Papaliktad naman to. May factor of safety na 3. Pabalik. So, parang wala naman tayong may lalagay. Why not? In terms o, oh, mag-try lang tayong ilagay yung formula. Chug and chug. Tapos, hanapin natin yung in terms of bilang yung ating or ultimate bearing capacity. So, for our gamma B, gamma B nga ulit, is yung effective stress at the B distance from the bottom of the footing. Hindi kasama yung stress sa taas. So, B distance. Ito yung B distance. Gamma B is 1965 minus 1000. 1000 is our uh, density ng water. Kasi, for what uh, effective stress, may saturated yan. Gamma, yun yung gamma natin. Then, is our distance na B. So, our gamma B is 965B. So, plug lang natin sa formula natin. 1.3 C and C plus Q and Q plus 0.4 gamma B and gamma. So simplify our Q ult in terms of B is 1,136,000 1, 113,639.5 plus 7,734.5 Next. Balik tayo sa formula. Ano ba yung formula ng Q allow natin? Q allow is Q ult over FS. So so, if pasok mo yung Qold, yung Fs natin na 3, sabi. So, meron tayong Q allow na in terms of P. This, ito. 37,879.833 plus 2,444.667 P. So, what is our Q allow? Q allow is force over area ulit. So, force natin is allowable gross. P allow over area, which is P squared. So, 59130, square siya. So, P squared. Equate lang natin. Kapila. Then, sa, wala na tayong shift solve. Uh, shift solve. So, you can use table for this. Then, maglagay ka lang ng start and end. Then, step is 1. Hanggang mag-approach ka lang sa 0. Palitin pa table mo. Then, hanapin mo yung magpapa-approach sa'yo sa zero. So, makukuha mo na yung P natin is 1.2 meters. Yan na. So, ang at size ng puting natin is 1.2 by 1.2. Next. What is the allowable bearing capacity? So, allow, meron na tayong size ng puting. Plug and chug na lang yan. Plug and chug. Lalagay lang natin. So, P allow over area is our Q allowable. So, 59130 over 1.2 uh, times 1.2. So, the allowable bearing capacity is 41,062.5 kg per square meter. Next. So, equation 3. Ano, oh, si board problem to. A square footing has a dimension of 1.3 by 1.3 meters. Has its bottom 0.9 meters below the ground surface, the groundwater table is located at a depth of 1.2 meters below the ground surface. Assuming a general shear failure, determine the following. 
A, kung to make bearing capacity of the soil, we need to put in B, allowable bearing capacity if it has a factor of safety of 3, C, allowable load that the footing could carry, and D is the net allowable load. So, yeah, no? So, ito yung figure natin. Sinabi niya, 0.9 meters daw yung depth ng footing, tapos 1.2 meter naman yung lalim na tubig, water table. So, sulat lang natin mga factors. 30 degrees, sanapin natin sa table. Wala din naman binigay mga factor. Ito siya. So, ito na yung mga factor natin. Yan. Next, eh, kumplitoy natin mga distance. Kung 1.2 to 0.9 to, this is 0.3. Then, sulat mo lang yung, para sa gamma B natin, yung B natin is 1.3 meters, so magsukat, bilang sukat tayo ng B, distance from the foot, uh, bottom of the footing, so 1.3. Tapos, ilan yung natira? 0.3, 0.3, 1. May 1 na natira. Then, to solve our gamma B, gamma B, effective stress, at that point, so 0.3, times 17.6 wala naman tubig dyan so plus 19.7 saturated minus tubig for water pressure na 9.81 times the distance of 1 so the gamma B is 15.17 kPa sinusulat ko lang sila dito para madali nating maano next hanapin na rin natin yung Q para plug and chug na lang tayo mamaya ang Q is the effective stress at the bottom of the footing, just the bottom of the footing. So, kung point 0.9 to, ang gamma natin is 17.6. So, 17.6 times point 0.9 lang. So, ang Q natin is 15.84. Next, pwede tayo dun sa ano natin. Formula, sinabi ulit, is a square footing with a general shear failure. So, our ultimate bearing capacity is 1.3 CNC plus Q and Q, plus 0.4 gamma B and gamma. Tip ko lang sa inyo. Next, our Q hold. So, plug and chug, meron na tayong mga cohesion na 12.2, and C bearing factors, meron na Q, gamma B. So, plug and chug, our Q hold is 1,061.205 kilopascal. Next, what is the allowable bearing capacity if it has a factor of safety of 3? So, ganun lang sa formula natin. So, from the basic allowable stress design, na uh, ang allowable is our Q, Q old over FS, factor of safety. Din divide lagi ang factor of safety, ha? Tandaan nyo na para bagang kung ano yung ibinigay mo sa kliyente mo. Ito lang yung limit mo sa kliyente mo. Kung ano talaga yung kaya niya, divide mo sa factor of safety. Para may room for ano ka pa? Room for abrupt change ng load. So, divide mo lang yung Q old mo sa 3. So, ang ibibigay mo sa ano mo, na design mo, ito lang. 353.73. Dapat, ito lang yung load mo. Para may laki, malaki pa yung room of ano mo. Error. Abaga. 353.73 kilopascal. Yun lang. Next, our Q allowable is the all allowable load that the footing can carry. So, meron na tayong Q allow. Hanapin lang natin allowable load. So, favorite natin na lang formula. Stress over, force over area is equals to stress. So, our P allow is Q allowable times the area. Area natin is a square footing which uh, base is 1.3, so 1P, 1.3 times 1.3. So, ang allowable natin is 597.8 kN. Napakabilis. Kung ganito lang sa board exam, di ba? Next. What is our allowable net? Ito nga, allowable net. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Anong pagkakaintindi niya sa allowable net? Allowable net is parang ano siya? Net. Kung baga, natira. Natirang load na pwede mong, ano, di ba yung footing natin is nakares sa soil? So, nakares siya sa soil, meron siya talagang, yung footing mo, nakares sa soil, then, 
yung footing mo, may bago ka maglagay ng load, meron na siyang soil na naka nakatagaan sa kanya. May soil na may bigat na soil na nakatagaan sa kanya. So para ma ano 'yon, para ma para ma-compromise yung ganung bigat. Ay uh, yung allowable net load lang yung pwede mong ilagay sa taas na load mo. I-sustain na load mo which pwede siya dead load, light load or wind load, yan etc. Kasi yun na yung net, nabawasan na yung effect ng soil na nakapatong dun sa footing mo. Natural na nakapatong dun sa footing mo. Diba? Na ilagay niya, na i-construct nila. So, yun yung allowable load. Net load. So, <coughs> di-divide mo rin siya sa factor of safety. So, ang Q net natin is formula. Formula to, just remember na lang. So, Q alt minus Q all over Fs. Parang itindihin mo lang siya. Meron kang allowable load. Bawa, bawasan mo lang siya ng Q over Fs. Factor of safety. Q over Fs. So, Q allow minus Q over Fs. Or, Q old minus Q all over Fs. Or, nagets nyo ba? Isa pa ulit. Yung allowable net load, ito lang yung natira na load na pwede mong ilagay sa footing na bawasan na yung load na galing sa soil na nakarest sa footing. Bawas na siya. So, ito na yung uh, pwede mo lang ilagay. So, ang Qnet mo is Qold minus Q all over 3. So, 1061.205 minus Q natin is 15.84. Q is the effective stress. The bottom of the footing all over 3. So, our Q net is 348.455 kilopascal. Yan. Ganyan lang. Next, situation 4. Si A board problem ulit. Ito, wala na itong figure na given. Kaya kailangan mong intindihin niyo kung nakasaad na kasa, kasaad. A footing has a diameter of 1.2 meter has its bottom at a depth of 2.7 meters from the ground surface. The water table is 1.3 meters below the ground. The soil has the following properties determined the following. Assuming local shear failure. You know, local shear failure. Gamma T. So, dry density is 18.1 km per cubic meter. Saturated density is 19.3 km per cubic meter. Our creation is 15.74. So, in internal angle of 20 degrees, hinahanap natin is ultimate bearing capacity, allowable bearing capacity using factor of safety of 3, and allowable load of the pool. So, kailangan intindihin natin yung gawin. Ganito ba yung nasa isip nyo? Yes, sir. So, 1.3 tau yung water table from the ground surface and 2.7 meters naman yung depth ng footing. So, sinabi ay local shear failure ha. O, oh, one point. So, drawing mo na. Drawing mo na. Maganda dyan. Drawing mo na. Sukat mo ulit. B. B distance. Di magsukat ka ulit ng B distance dito. Yan. So, our gamma B natin is effective stress. At that point, gamma B is hindi kasama yung taas, ha? So, 19.3 minus 9.81. Saturated yan. Nasa taas. Nasa taas yung tubig niya, no? So, saturated yan times 1.2. So, 11.388 kilopascal is gamma B. And yung Q naman natin. Effective stress at that point, dun sa point na may bottom at sa bottom ng footing. So, 1.3 effective stress. So, 1.3 times 18.1 plus ano yung distance na natira? 1.4 times saturated yan. So, 19.3 minus unit weight ng water is 9.81. So, ang Q natin is 36.816 kilopascal. Then, local shear failure for circular footing. Bago na ito ha. Circular footing and local shear failure. So, yan na. 
1.3 c prime and c prime plus q and q prime plus 0.3 gamma p and gamma prime then punta tayo sa table natin saan natin ay uh, 20 degrees 20 degrees is ito yung factor so kung may table na ibibigay sa inyo tandaan nyo ha kung may table na ibibigay sa inyo ito yan ito yung mga factors. Pero, try natin gamitin yung equation. Sabi ni sir. Sabi, ipasok natin. Plug and check natin yung calculator. Tingnan nyo. Di ba parang the same lang yung sagot? Na, napakalapit to. Six, kung ang NC prime natin is 14.83 sa table, na solve natin is 14.834. And Q, 6.4. 6.399 naman dito natin. And 5.429. 5.386 naman dito natin. So, Reliable yung equation. Tama? So, tip ko lang sa inyo kung kaya pa ng utak. So, sa uluhin na lang din yan. Baka kasi matopak yung examiner. Kalimutan sa ibigay yung table. Meron kang room for error. Note. Ito pala, note. Tandaan nyo, yung nakabigay sa figure is C prime. May C prime ba na given? Wala. Ang given is cohesion C lang. C. So, kapag if C prime is not given, use C prime equals two-third of C. Ano lang siya? Kasi, hindi talaga, di ba, sinabi ko nga, modified siya, pinababa ng mga investigator, minodify nila, uh, yung ano, para maging practical, kumbaga, economical, kumbaga. So, ang C prime is two-third of C. So, so, ulit, if C prime is not given, use C prime is equals to 2 third of C. So, our C prime natin is 2 third of 15.74 is 10.49 P kilopascal. So, formula, ulit, ulit, yung ultimate bearing capacity for local shear is 1.3 C and C plus Q and Q prime plus 0.3 gamma P and gamma prime. So, plug and chug. Plug and chug ulit. Ito, paborito natin yan eh. Plug and chug. So, 1.3. C prime, 10.493. And C prime, 14.83. Plus, 36.816 times 6.4. Plus, 0.3. Gamma B is 11.388. The end gamma prime is 5.39 Q old. So, ang Q old natin is 456.331. Next, allowable bearing capacity using a factor of 6.3. So, ulit-ulit na yung formula. RRQ allowable is Q old over FS. So, 456.331 over 3. Factor of 6.3. So, ang allowable bearing capacity natin is 152.11 kPa. Next, what is the allowable load on the footing? Allowable load. So, yun lang. Q allow is force over area. Favorite. So, P allow over area, 152.110 equals P allow. Take note, this is a circular footing. So, magbabago na yung area natin. Area is pi t squared over 4. Ang area natin is 1.2 squared over 4. Over 4 times pi. So, our allowable load is 172.033 kN. This is our answer. Next. Si e board problem to. Last situation natin to. Si e board problem similar to situation 1. Yung situation 1 kanina. Pabalik, pabalik. So, a wall footing is to be constructed on a clay soil 0.7 meters below the ground. The footing is to support a wall that imposes an allowable load of 135 kN per linear meter of wall length. To consider a general shear failure, determine the following. A. Footing width should be provided to have a factor of safety of 3. B. Ultimate bearing capacity if the width is 0.9 meters. And C. Is the new factor of safety. So, ito yung figure natin. Binigay na rin yung mga facts, bearing factor. So, general shear failure lang siya. 
wall footing. Wall footing is a strip footing. Strip footing yan. So, consider lang tayo. Kung anong maganda niya technique is just consider 1 meter length. Consider ka lang ng 1 meter length. So, ang 135 kN per meter mo times mo sa 1. So, ang mangyayari, 135 kN. Kinetin mo naman. Times ka lang ng 1 kN per meter length of wall times 1. Kasi consider niya 1 meter length. Parang sa dam. So, times 1 dam. So, drawing ko na figure, parang gano'n na rin siya sa, ano, sa dati natin sa normal way. So, ang formula na dyan nagbago. Ang ultimate pairing capacity is CNC plus QNQ plus 0.5 gamma BN gamma. Let CNC plus QNQ plus 0.5 gamma BN gamma. Next, so, drawing ko ulit. Gamma B. Ano ba yung gamma B? Is yung base. Yung base mo is ginawa natin din siya ngayon kasi built on siya. Hindi lang. Wala lang. Gamma D. Yeah, gamma B. Gamma B natin is kung ano yung distance nito. So, kagalit yung distance, yung distance doon. Sa kung ano yung width mo. Yung yung distance. So, gamma B is in terms, ginawa ko lang D. So, gamma is 17.33 DQ. Next. Ano yung Q? Ang Q natin is uh, 17.3 times 0.7 yung Q just just the uh, another footing so ang gamma B mo naman is 17.3 times Q so similar lang siya plug and chug in terms of D so ang Q old natin is 829.391 plus 165.475 D in terms of D lang so, Q allow is Q alt over FS, P allow over area. So, Q alt mo is 829.391 plus in terms of D all over 3 is equals to P allow mo is 135 kN over area. Ano ba area niyan? D times 1. Kasi 1 na yung consider mo 1 meter length. Cross multiply, then simplify. Maka po tayo ng quadratic equation. Quadratic equation using our new calculator. Makakasolve ka na ng D. Pwede mo yung positive syempre. D is our 0.448 meters. Yan na ang sukat ng footing. Ay, sukat ng strip footing, wall footing. Para magkaroon ng factors na yun. Next. Ultimate pairing capacity if D equals 0.3. So, ngayon, Di ba naka q old na tayo kanina in terms of D? Gamitin na lang yung halit natin yan para malaman kung may pairing capacity. Then, plug in na lang natin yung bago natin D. So, derive, ito yung derive q old natin in terms of D. So, q old is 829.31 plus 165.475 times D.9 is q old natin is 978.319 kilopascal. Next, what is the new factor of safety? factor of safety is Q allow Q volt over FS equals P allow over area. So, 978.319 over FS is equals to P allow 135 over area panibagong area, 0.9 by 1. Considering 1 meter length, so our new factor of safety is 6.55522. So, thank you for Thank you, board takers. Mabuhay ang civil engineers. Yung bago, oh, bago pala matapos, tip ko lang, na ang sa bearing capacity, madali lang talaga siya. Ang kailangan mo lang, malaman agad, bago ka umatake, is kung local shear failure ba siya o general shear failure ba siya. Yun ang kailangan mo basihan. Next, pangalawang atake, hanapin mo yung Q, Yung formula, yung formula pala. Napin mo yung formula kung nalaman mo na yung local siya or sure siya, ay local siya or general siya. Napin mo next, hanapin mo naman yung uh, circular ba siya, strip ba siya, or square ba siya. Next, after nun, pangalawa yun, pangatlo, kung tumingin ka sa table, kung may table na binigay. Tingnan mo kung, kung local, Yung mga factor ba na binigay ay naka C' and C' 
yan, madadali ka dyan kung yung cohesion mo ba is naka C prime. So, check the, check the constant, kumbaga. Kung wala namang form table na binigay, yung binigay kong formula, pwede nyo gamitin. Eh, yun lang. Tapos, ang pang-apat, kung baon ka, nagbaon ka sa board exam, tari general shear failure, ay, walang formula yan, walang formula. So, magbaon ka. Sabi sa amin, dati, ang gamitin mo daw is, saluhin mo na ang bearing factor ng 20 degrees, 25 degrees, and 30 degrees. Kasi yun lang yung malipit na bibigay sa board exam. So, yun lang, I hope, na natutunan tayo. And, thank you.